So I am on my way to the Porchester Middle School. Every year, Porchester schools, they perform in my Christmas show. So their choir comes and their marching band or their brass band comes. And in exchange, I like to do a benefit concert every year for them. They have zero funding for their drama program. And my friend Mark runs it. And he does such a fantastic job with the kids. He invests so much of his own money to make sure that these kids have a wonderful experience um, and get to follow their dreams. And it means a lot to me to be a part of it. So um, we are on our way there now for sound check. We're going to do a concert where all proceeds benefit the Porchester Middle School Drama Program. Now, I got my start performing in plays and doing theater when I was a kid. So for me to be able to give other kids that same opportunity and experience really means a lot to me. I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today if I didn't have the opportunities and the arts that I did growing up. So um, I'm so excited for tonight. I'm actually also heading there a little bit early and uh, a lot of you may not know that I have a master's degree in special education. That's actually what I went to school for and I'm going to go to one of their special education classes and hang out with the kids for a little bit. So follow me along to Fort Chester. So we just arrived, we're gonna go through the Flexing?
works that night. We'll get All right, so we are here at the school. We're setting up. Uh, hard at work. We're bringing in our monster sound system for this. Alright, so we have pizza and salads in the choir room. And then we're gonna almost be done sound checking. We are currently in here in Vega. Miss Lynn, are you ready to open the house? Yeah! Let's do it!
Yes. I used to get so nervous that my voice would crack. I would shake on stage. I would be so, so scared. And I was talking to a student about this before that the only way to get over that, do not ever let that stop you from going after your dreams and singing. If you want to sing, perform, and be in front of people, because the only way to make it get better, and it will get better, is to just keep doing it. You shake, you get up there, your voice cracks, it doesn't matter. The next time, it's going to crack a little bit less, and you're going to shake a little bit less, and then the next time, it's going to be even less and less, and now I don't get nervous at all. That's a really, you guys are, they have some really good questions. Um, the reality. So you want the hard stuff? So, being a singer is very, very hard. Everybody thinks that it is so glamorous. You know, you show up and your hair and your makeup's done and you waltz in and you get to perform and that's the fun part. We always say we don't get paid to perform, we get paid to load all this equipment and do all the hard work that comes with doing it, but the long hours in the car. People see us at the show, but they don't see us drive the six hours to get there and be hungry and be tired on two hours of sleep. And For me though, the hardest thing is it's a very judgmental business. Um, you're putting your, as a songwriter or a singer, you're putting, or any artist, you're putting your heart and your soul out for everybody to see and you hope that they like it. And just like anything else in the world, just you as a person, your personality, not everybody is always going to like you. And you know what? That's okay. And you can never let that make you not want to do something. And I think that that's why a lot of people fail in the music business, because they let what other people think and do dictate how they feel about themselves and how they feel about their talent. And you just have to always remember that I'm confident in what I do. And if you like me, great. And if you don't, it's okay. There's somebody else for you. And never let that dull your shine and your sparkle and your dream. Because that's your life, not theirs. And you should just always go for what you want to go for and always believe in yourself. And you can do anything that you put your mind to if you just believe you really can. And that's the hardest part, I think, is just remembering that and always keeping that fire. No matter how many people try to extinguish it on you, you just, inside, you know, I can do this. It's the most important thing.